Bam contacted me a few days ago to see if I'd be interested in participating in a new program of theirs. A program that was designed specifically to help the community understand new champions that are coming to the contest. Upon receiving this message, I let out a very manly cheer that sounded something like this. <clears throat> no one needs to hear that. I'll, uh, I'll edit that out. So after I got done changing my pants, I asked Kabam which famous, ultra cool, heroic, and badass champion I would be receiving. That's when they replied with Howard the Duck. Little does Kabam know, I've made it a point to watch the Mighty Ducks 1, 2, and 3 every single year since their initial releases in the early to mid 90s. So I responded the same way that any Mighty Ducks fan would respond. Quack, 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 Mr. Ducksworth. A few apologies later, since I wasn't actually speaking to a mister at Kabam, and, uh, well, they sent me Howard the Duck. And yes, I'm aware of the drama and how the community feels about this new initiative of Kabams, and I have a lot to say about it myself, but it's going to have to come in a separate video, because this video is something truly special to me. I've been wanting to make guides for every single champion in this game for the longest time, since before, way before I started making videos, since before I even registered contestchampion.com, and that was like 11 months ago or something like that. So this is a long time in the making here, trying to make uh, these champion guys for you guys. It's my first opportunity to do so, so hold off on the drama, hold off on smashing that dislike button as I take you through as best as I possibly can how to play as Howard the Duck and how to play against Howard the Duck. Because it's not a matter of if you will come into contact with this champion, but merely a matter of when. And when that day comes, I want you guys to be as prepared as you possibly can be. Now before I start breaking down Howard the Duck's ability set one by one and showing you exactly how this champion works, can we please just take a moment to appreciate just how good looking Howard the Duck actually is. And uh, it's not just on this screen, when you're actually fighting as Howard the Duck, whenever Howard is struck you can see some feathers flying off him, it's just a really nice touch that they added. And then also his special abilities are some of the coolest looking special abilities in the entire game. But. A cool looking champion is is nothing unless his, uh, his abilities are actually good. So let's start getting into his abilities right now. Let's start breaking down the champion. And uh, we'll start over here with his attack. I just want to explain something real quick. This is a rank 3 level 30 champion. Uh, all the footage you're going to see here is of uh, rank 3 level 30. And my attack may look uh, significantly higher than the average rank 3 champion. And that's only because I have the uh, liquid courage and double edge masteries which give a significant boost to my attack. I'm going to skip over the other stats that you see on screen here, the armor, crit chance, crit damage, and block proficiency, because some of these stats actually get altered quite a bit by his ability set. So let's move on to that right now and check out his passive abilities. As we move on to Howard's signature ability and passives, you can see exactly the, uh, the type of uh, design that Kabam was aiming for with Howard, and that is uh, kind of a light-hearted champion with uh, lots of fun little uh, random elements mixed in there. So uh, you can see his signature ability is called Mash All the Buttons. <laughs> Howard frantically mashes buttons on the loader console. That's his uh, mechanical suit there called the ISO loader. Uh, and it has a chance to trigger a self-repair, very similar to how Ultron's heal works. So basically, uh, you know, Ultron will, will trigger a heal at 50% and 25%, and, uh, you know, Howard does this at 60% and 30%. There are a few key differences, though, other than, uh, you know, the percentage of health that it triggers at. For, for starters, Howard's ability does not always trigger. You can see at signature ability level 20 here, it's only a 70% chance to trigger the self-repair versus uh, you know Ultron's 100% and uh, even if you take Howard to signature ability level 99 it will only end up giving you an 87% chance to trigger that heal so uh, it's not the most reliable thing it's it's uh, not as reliable as Ultron that is for sure uh, it does cancel out the same way as Ultron's as well so if you get stunned while you're healing uh, it's gonna go ahead and interrupt that healing effect now, the other part of this is that uh, you don't always heal either. Even if, even if uh, you know, mash all the buttons is successful, even if, uh, you know, you trigger uh, an effect, it's not always the healing effect. Sometimes it's a damage over time effect, uh, you know, with, with energy damage similar to magic where, uh, you know, when magic triggers limbo, um, you know, she's going to be doing damage to you regardless of uh, if you're anywhere near magic or not. It's the same way how it works for Howard the Duck. Moving on to Howard's passives, we can see here that, uh, you know, as Howard takes and deals damage, his temper builds and basically gives him increasing amounts of attack and critical damage. And this actually can, can stack pretty high. Um, you can see here that uh, I was able to get these stacks over 10 at, at some point. 
Uh, but this is this is quite rare. Uh, I had to. Uh, I was just a very long fight in uh, Realm of Legends here to get it that high. Um, the stacks do fall off, so you have to play you know pretty aggressively. I don't know what the maximum stack count is, but if I had to guess, um, I would guess 99 since it already does go over 10, uh, and that is proven. Uh, and the other thing to note here is that uh, while it does really increase his damage by quite a bit, you can see me critting for over 2,000. Um, because it increases attack and crit damage, um, you know that, that crit damage is what really kicks in to get those high crit numbers, but the regular attack uh, you know, is still relatively low. Um, again, this is only a rank 3 champion, so it's, it's still pretty decent. Um, actually, you know, quite powerful as long as you can maintain those stacks. Um, and also, the other thing is that the, the stacks do not automatically, you know, add up. As you can see here, I'm, I'm you know, I'm hitting the champion quite a bit. Um, and sometimes I get a stack, sometimes I get a fury stack, and, and other times I do not. The next passive on the list here is the Armor Up passive. You actually start out with 8 stacks of Armor Up active, and uh, it increases your armor by a, a pretty good amount. Now, the number you see on screen here is 6.5%. This is for rank 3. Uh, this number does change depending on rank, and unfortunately, I do not know the exact numbers, but uh, in any case, even at 6.5%, it's, it's very noticeable. Uh, and every, whenever you're struck, there's only a 13% chance that a piece of armor actually falls off. Uh, and this is great because as you get into the you know the later stages of the game, you're not getting hit all that much because if you do get hit, you're you're taking so much damage that you could really only withstand a, a few actual hits. Um, so for the most part, this armor is going to be doing a great job to protect you. Uh, you know, much better than just having a high life total in most cases. Uh, you know, you're better off having these armor stacks just to reduce the damage. So this is this is actually uh, really fantastic as a passive. And of course, you know, each fight that you start. You know, you, you, you go back to eight stacks. So if you just ended a fight and you went down to three stacks, you, you move on and you, you're up to eight again. So uh, it's a very nice passive. Moving on to special attacks, we start out with special attack one, of course. And uh, this is pretty interesting. So uh, special attack one will actually reduce several different, uh, you know, stats of your opponent. Uh, and at my current rank, rank three, it's going to reduce their armor, attack, block proficiency, and regeneration rate by 6% for the remainder of the fight. This is a debuff that does not go away. Uh, and it can actually stack up four times. It does not say it on the uh, the character screen here, uh, but the champion spotlight uh, you know, indicates that it, you can stack it up to four times, and I did test this out in game myself. Uh, and it's quite good. You you know, if, if you're doing a long fight like I am here in Realm of Legends, uh, then stacking it up four times is, is actually quite easy to do. Um, and then you can be doing, you know, more damage throughout the entire fight. So, uh, definitely the recommended way to play against, uh, you know, bosses and such. Now, one thing to note here is that, uh, you know, I have, I have these four abilities that I'm reducing, the, you know, the four stats that I'm reducing here, armor, attack, block proficiency, and regeneration rate. However, this can actually go to seven different stats if your champion is at a higher ranking. So, uh, the seven different stats are armor, attack, block proficiency, regeneration rate, physical resistance, crit chance, and crit damage. So, uh, that's that's really nice actually, uh, and it's possible that that you know that percentage actually changes too, um, according to the uh, the champion spotlight. They don't give an exact percentage; they just say X percent. So uh, it might be even higher than six percent, um, and that's that's just uh, it's actually really powerful. Now, Howard the Duck's level one special is also the only special of his that you can fully dodge uh, just through normal means of having the dexterity mastery. And I'm going to show you guys, uh, you know, the exact breakdown of how to dodge that, that ability right now. Now, um, this isn't the cleanest way of dodging it. I'm still, I was still learning myself here. Uh, but I'm going to put this in slow motion so you guys can see, uh, you know, just exactly when you should be moving. Uh, when he actually does fire off the, uh, the level 1. Uh, and basically, he's going to, uh, you know, move the, the hand with the machine gun forward. And then uh, he's going to start pulling back on that. And that's when he, you know, kind of blast the other hand in your direction so uh, just be on the lookout for that when you are trying to dodge his level 1 special and moving on to Howard's special 2 attack it's uh, an awesome looking machine gun that uh, can actually trigger multiple effects on the opponent so there's a 30% chance per effect um, and they, they can definitely all proc at the same time you can see here I have multiple uh, effects on Winter Soldier here um, at rank 3, there's only four different effects available. It's Heal Block, Power Drain, Poison, and Armor Break. 
and uh, as you rank Howard up higher, uh, there are seven in total. And those seven are Heal Block, Power Drain, Poison, Armor Break, Power Lock, Shock, and Weakness. All right, moving on to special attack number three. Now, special attack number three is, uh, you know, it gives you a nine second buff based on the type of class that you're fighting against. And uh, these buffs, they, they all vary quite a bit. The one I have here in this fight is against a skill champion, which gives me the precision buff plus the bleed on crit buff. So every time I'm critting him, that's how you can see these bleed stacks are just, are just climbing. So uh, it's actually... A it's actually pretty nice. I'm going to put a full list of all the different class types on screen for you right now since this actually does not say it in game. So depending on what champion you're fighting, what class type they are, you can potentially have a very powerful buff on your hands with your level 3 special. Now last 9 seconds, which is uh, it's a pretty decent duration, it's definitely long enough to get some work done. Uh, I, can, I can definitely see it being uh, you know very good against another tech champion, getting that heal block against like uh, an Ultron or something like that. Um, and then yeah, there's there's definitely some other very powerful ones in here. Now I didn't get a chance to test each class just because I've only had a few hours with the champion. Um, so I don't know how strong the regeneration is, uh, for example, against a, uh, a mutant champion. I don't know anything about the uh, the power gain or nullify chance for the uh, you know the mystics. So uh, it's really gonna have to uh, be something that uh, is tested out more uh, within the community. Something else really cool about Howard the Duck is actually his heavy attack. I feel like they designed it uh, based on that Simpsons episode where, uh, you know, Bart and Lisa are fighting, and Bart's like, uh, all right, I'm going to be doing this with, you know, with his arms, and if you get in my way, it's your own fault. And, uh, yeah, I feel like that's exactly how Howard the Duck is, is doing it. Uh, it's actually a really interesting heavy attack because it seems like it just has that little bit of an extra reach where you can actually take advantage of it and have it be useful. Um, so what I'm curious of is, I want to know if anybody can actually beat Winter Soldier here using only a heavy attack. Like, I actually think it's possible, and it'd be pretty cool to see. So, uh, throwing that challenge out there for everybody. And I just wanted to show the synergies as well, and I'll show you the team that I was using with. Uh, you know, I haven't messed around with a ton of different teams. Uh, right now, usually when a, when a new champion's added to the game, they seem to have uh, a little bit more of a limited uh, options when it comes to their synergies. So... Uh, as far as I know, these are the only synergies with uh, with Howard the Duck. I, I don't know if there's any other champion that has uh, Howard the Duck synergy attached to them. Um, so yeah, I, I did end up using a uh, you know a team with She-Hulk here. I'll show you that team. I think it's actually pretty good. Um, She-Hulk not the most powerful champion uh, by herself, but she actually has some decent synergies. So uh, we have like a standard crit setup here with uh, Captain America and uh, Superior Iron Man. Uh, and then also uh, Daredevil here bringing in some crit damage. Um, and then Howard the Duck just giving some extra armor with She-Hulk there. Uh, and then She-Hulk bringing in some decent masteries of her own uh, with some stun chance uh, being paired up with Daredevil here. And then some extra power gain with Superior Iron Man. So I actually think this is a pretty decent setup. Um, it'd be interesting to try um, a pretty like heavily... Uh, you know, I don't know if there's any other way to get like more power gain along with critical damage. Um, it'd be interesting to try some of those setups. There probably is something out there that I just uh, I'm not aware of. Uh, but I think uh, that's really the way the way that you want to uh, line up your synergies for this champion. You want to have some extra power gain because uh, you want to uh, use those specials because applying all of those debuffs is very powerful. Um, but you also need to have um, some some pretty high crit rate. Because of your fr uh, Fury buff, you're, you already have high crit damage. I mean, of course, you can never have too much. That's why I was stacking it in there. But you do want to have some high critical hit rate to take advantage of all that critical hit damage that you're getting from your Fury stacks. So I guess now I should give my final thoughts about Howard the Duck. What do I think about Howard the Duck as a champion? Do I think he's a uh, great champion, mediocre, or, or not so great? So the thing is, guys, as soon as I found out I was getting Howard the Duck, I wanted this to be the absolute worst champion that I ever played, right? Because if I say he's a great champion, then people are going to automatically assume that I work with Kabam, and I'm trying to get people to buy more crystals, and, you know, whatever. Uh, as ridiculous as it is, that's, that's just how people think, right? So I wanted this champion to be bad, and uh, there are definitely some things that, um, that I didn't really care for uh, when it comes to this champion. Um, 
mostly just the, the synergies. I would, I would prefer to see some other synergies, but, uh, you know, like I kind of mentioned when I was going over synergies before, um, I think that this happens a lot with the newer champions, and then uh, Kabam goes and updates the synergies later to include uh, some more options and stuff like that. So I have all the faith in the world that they're going to do that. Um, the other thing that uh, I, I would uh, really like to see changed is the, uh, the signature ability. I, I'm not a huge fan of the signature ability being a percentage to... Uh, trigger the uh, you know the regen or or the damage. Uh, I'm fine with it being you know regen or damage and and it being a random factor there. Um, but I would really prefer to see um, at the very least it, it being able to go up to a 100% chance to trigger at at signature ability 99, or it, it, you know rework it a little bit so that it, it it always triggers no matter what the signature ability level is. Um, and the signature ability affects you know how much healing and how much damage is is done depending on. Uh, which one is randomly selected? So um, that that's that's really the only things that I can think of that uh, that I don't like about this champion. Um, the truth is that this is one of the coolest champions that I've ever got to play with, uh, and I don't think he's the most powerful. Like you know, he's not going to replace uh, Scarlet Witch or, or, or Thor or anything like that, right? Um, but just the the coolness and the amount of fun I was having with this champion is kind of crazy. Um, now, when I was out like doing some regular questing and stuff like that, I, you know, it was just like whatever. It was it was just another champion. Uh, maybe because I was doing too easy of quests, I, I don't know. But when I went to Realm of Legends, like I was having a blast fighting against Winter Soldier, um, stacking up all those debuffs on him. Uh, you know, using the level two to 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 apply like a, a series of debuffs, using my level three to uh, you know buff up myself uh seeing how many fury stacks i can get i don't know it was just it was just really fun to play as howard the duck um and i don't think he's a bad champion at all you guys saw how much damage i was critting for i was critting for over 2000 pretty regularly like i i kept showing the same clip over and over pretty much but uh, i was critting for over 2000 on a regular basis as long as i can uh keep that fury stack up so um and the heavy attack the heavy attack is so cool easily hands down the, the coolest heavy attack in the game right now in my opinion um so yeah, I actually really like Howard the Duck. Um, I know people are gonna, you know, assume whatever they want, uh, but uh, I like I I just honestly like Howard the Duck. So, uh, and I know there again, like I mentioned before, I know there is some uh, some drama going around, some controversy about this whole uh, you know YouTubers being given Howard the Duck thing early. So, like I said, I'm gonna talk about that in a video tomorrow. Um, but for now, that that's gonna do it for this video, guys. So. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care.